Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Mining Weekly editor Martin Krima joins me today to unpack the latest in the mining industry. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Ashni. Now, South Africa has all of the advantages to develop a successful hydrogen economy. Yeah, this was made clear by the Industrial Development Corporation this week, and it's so important that people state this because you can see that both the public sector and the private sector are coming together on this, so that normally works very, very well. So I'm very encouraged, and there's a lot of uh, conferencing going on. They had an inaugural conference. They're going to have another one in October. So these things are moving forward, backed by funding. You know, you can see the funding need always coming to the fore. So there's no reason why South Africa shouldn't spurt ahead now on the whole green hydrogen. And it's about really initially trying to make sure that we decarbonize our big industry, which we have to do. Otherwise, we won't be able to export things. So. It's, uh, it's good that people realize this very clearly. Now, Pan-African has hit back against any attempts to de derail the 2.5 billion rand Mughale uh, tailings retreatment projects. Yes, I think South Africa Incorporated must just stand firm. This is the sort of project that we need. And, you know, it's, it's coming at 2.5 billion. They're going to get that gold out of there. They know they can do it. They've done it in three other places very well. It's highly profitable. It can employ a lot of people. can have... Uh, uh, people who've never been technically inclined, you know, given bursaries. But there's a small element that are thinking just of themselves, uh, and there is a slight inclination that this is the construction mafia. You know, the way they pull up in their vehicles, their big vehicles, uh, the, the way they <laughs> describe their number plates as well, is quite uh, indicative that these are people that are not wanting to do anything else for the country, but they're trying to maximize the benefit for themselves. And fortunately, Pan-African is standing very, very firm. And so the whole of South Africa needs to f firm up on these projects. You cannot allow a little element that don't understand the bigger picture to come and disrupt very selfishly just for themselves. And I think that uh, the realization is building in that West Rand. You can see it building. The security forces there are very adept and they're working very well with the police. And they are seeing faces that they recognize and they're taking people to court to make sure that they are not allowed to do this. Now, lastly, South Africa needs to go all out to promote platinum-based fuel cell electric vehicles. Yes, you know, I think that in the days when I started in the platinum industry, it was still Johannesburg Consolidated Investment. That was the big company that you could get something out of it. The others were very quiet. And you would go in there and they'd want to tell you how they're promoting platinum. Mm -hmm. But then that promotion, I think, fell away a bit when there's so many other parties came into the platinum industry, but it's building again. And we need to make sure that we keep this market for uh, platinum in the automotive industry. That's the biggest one. And you can see that there is an effort to make sure that uh, the, the heavy trucks or fuel cell driven, but you need to bring that right down to the cars. We need to really promote it. You know, our taxis here should be based on fuel cell electric vehicles. We, could, we know their distances. There can be refilling stations. All the technology is known. They must get that going. We, as a country and a continent, we need to move on this because I think it is the best way. There's no doubt about it. But there's slight interruptions that have come through the people offering battery electric vehicles which are not the same when it comes to protecting the environment. So we need to push this very strongly. You can see in the United States they're pushing the green hydrogen very strongly, but they're not talking so much about the cars at this stage. So it's going to be up to us to really push those in China, get promote them in China, promote them in Europe. They understand very clearly that this is the way. You know, if you're going to protect Mother Earth the best, You've got to go this route, and I think South Africa should really, as a country, be promoting this and give an example here of how it works by showing that it does work. Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. Great pleasure, Sashni. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. To subscribe to Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, please email subscriptions at cremamedia.ca.za.